Wow, Jamie Oliver. I can't believe we've got one of England's most famous chefs for our little meatloaf festival. Brilliant, it's a pleasure to be here. Yes, this year we've expanded our venue. We have 29 varieties of meatloaf flavored ice cream, as well as various meatloaf themed attractions and rides. So what exactly is meatloaf? Oh, it's uh, made of meat, it's got bread and onions. Ah, so it's a beverage. Well, no, but it's sort of like shepherd's pie, except there's no potatoes or vegetables, and it's, you know, in the shape of a loaf. You put pepper in it? If you want. Oh, meatloaf! Perry the Platypus. I never thought you'd fall for the old distract Perry the Platypus with a weird bird trap. I gotta say, though, it's, a, it's quite an ugly bird. And now for something a little more confining. You like it? It's biodegradable. A biodegradable trap. You know how everyone says, if you don't like meatloaf, it's probably because you haven't tasted my meatloaf? Well, it's true, because mine really is the best. In fact, I come from a long line of great meatloaf chefs. The recipe was first created by my great-grandmother, Gretel Doofenshmirtz, who passed it down to my grandpa, Jose Doofenshmirtz. Weird story there. Then he passed it down to my mom, who passed it down to Roger. Ugh. Naturally, I had to steal it from him. And when I did, I finally found out what the secret ingredient was. The secret ingredient was hate. Usually it's love, but Great Grandma Gretel had some issues with this recipe. I'm sure to win the Danville Meatloaf Festival! But just in case, I have the Rottenator! With a quick blast of this, my competitors' meatloafs will be completely rotten! My victory is guaranteed! Oh man, this is awesome! And that's not the half of it. We're gonna fill it with helium. Hey, Buford, we are going to float like little woodland pixies. You're never gonna let me live that down, are you? Okay, everybody, let's bounce. The next item up for bid is this lovely Mona Lisa reproduction made entirely out of recycled guitar picks from the Paisley Sideburn Brothers. Shall we start the bidding at $10? Um, excuse me? May I borrow these for a moment? Thank you. Phineas and Ferb. Stacy, I'm gonna skip over my dramatic agonizing about whether I can resist the urge to bust my brothers, and I'm just gonna give you my $70, my auction paddle, and tell you to do the best you can to get that bobblehead. Oh, here. Thank you. Seriously, who brings opera glasses to an auction? I'm at an auction? Okay, Candace, this is all the money you gave me, so this is my final bid. $70, do I hear 75? $70, going once, 70 going twice. No, wait, we've got 75 from the weird guy in the back. <laughs> Stacy, I found 37 cents. Raise the bid. Hello? Oh, stupid non-waterproof cell phones. And with this garnish, I leave nothing to chance. <laughs> The meatloaf is complete! Where's the judges? I better zap that guy's meatloaf. I rotted the trap? Oh, I should have never made that out of biodegradable material, stupid Mother Earth. For that, I'll turn you rock! And that will stop annoying me! Fresh cucumbers! Fresh pickles! This novel is so riveting. Oh, what a rotten ending. Here's some refreshing milk. Ew, it's curdled! Well, I can fix that. Here's a spoon. Hey, we're over to Meatloaf Festival. Anybody else hungry? 